I'm John Goodhue. And I'm Ray Stein with uh, Asset Protect One. And we're here today to talk about a topic that we hear a lot about is when do I take Social Security? Oh, yeah. Uh, and people go, I, we've heard everything. And we've heard take it as soon as you can, which is usually 62 for most people when they can take their own. We've heard that one. We've said we've heard wait as long as you can. So 70, that's the last time, the last age that you should take it. Uh, we've heard it in every, everything in between. Uh, so we're going to talk about, give you some facts, and then you can make your own decisions. Okay. So the first thing is, should I take it at 62 or should I wait until my full retirement age, which for most baby boomers is 66 and maybe some months? So the, the answer to that is, number one, it all depends on whether you need the money to pay your bills or not. Yeah, absolutely. So we always say the good rule of thumb on that part is if you need the money to um, put food on the table, keep your roof over your house, and you're over the age of 62, not working, then you should take Social Security. There can be an annual earnings test if you make over about 17000 this year as right. well. Um, but other than that, we want to look at your situation because it all depends on your other income. We want to make sure that Social Security is maximized for you. Yeah, don't be like the person that came in to meet with us and uh, he was take, took his Social Security at 62 and uh, he was about 62, maybe three or four months into it. And he got a nasty letter from the IRS saying, hey, you've got to pay all the money back. Yep. And we asked him, well, how, you're still working, right? And he said, yes. I said, how much are you making? He said, about 100000 a year. Yeah. Well, guess what? He should have never taken his Social Security. That's the wrong choice, right. absolutely. So you got to know the rules on that part. And there's a couple general break-evens that we look at as well. So if you take Social Security between about the age of from 62 to 66, the break-even there, meaning that you took more out by waiting, uh, is about the age of 72 and a half. Now, between the age of your full retirement, which is 66, if you wait to maximize till 70, the break even there is about 79 and a half, so 79 to 80. So if you live longer than that, it can make sense to wait to get the higher income later and delay early payment. Right. So just think of it like you're betting because you've been betting with the Social Security yep. Administration all your life, right? Because if you died before you ever took out your check, you aren't going to get anything. No. Now, your wife or your husband, your spouse might get something survivor benefit, but you're not getting anything. So it's just the gamble. Do you take it at 62 or do you take it at 66? Do you wait till 70? Most of that is also going to depend on your cash flow needs. Mm -hmm. and, and some people should take it earlier. There's no, and there's nothing really wrong no. with taking it earlier, but it's, they're just considerations. Like one really big consideration is this. If you're married and if the, 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 the male in the marriage was the higher wage earner and they have the higher social security guys we die first that's just statistically we're going to go first so the survivorship survivorship is the higher of the two is going to be left to the person who survives so if the male dies first which we tend to do you've got to think about maybe delaying that social security payment as long as you can hopefully maybe up to 70 because it's going to be the survivor benefit after you're gone that's going to go to your wife and so now they're going to lose their social security exactly and it can be a big number we've seen it up as much as 40 to 50 percent of the household income can be affected when one spouse passes away so you need to take into consideration a lot of other things don't do social security planning in a vacuum. Make sure you look at your other income, taxes, the survivor needs, insurance right. needs. You need to look at it as an entire picture. It's just one part of that to make the best decision for you. So come, if you have questions, yeah. give us a call. Come see us. We're happy to help you uh, and to make the right decision for you. Absolutely. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.